The Triumph of Detectives is a board role-playing game. The game is played by two to eight players. Each player is dealt randomly a detective role with different special skills. They look for main clue cards and secondary clue cards, and use them with tool cards to win the game. Use dark cards to defeat other players. Use difficult events cards to add changes and possibilities. Before you play, find a dice, a stopwatch, and a notebook. Cards introduction, detective role cards, Kudo Shinichi excels in wisdom and observation. Sherlock Holmes is good at reading minds. Kintaichi has an air of freedom. Hercule Polo prefers not to search clue at the scene of the crime in person. Victoric hates sports. L. Deals with cases without caring about price. Hakuba Sanglu, good at finding solutions in the nick of time. Diyamgi, is not afraid of forcing. Main clue cards are belongings of suspects, including glasses, necklace, and so on. Each suspect has a main clues. Secondary clue cards. Woman's hair, man's hair, woman's lipstick print, man's footprint, clothes. Secondary clue cards belongs to any suspect that fit the gender indicated in the secondary clue cards. For example, woman's hair is for female suspects. There is no gender limit of clothes. Useful cards, tool cards, tool cards should be equipped with the secondary clue cards. And should be placed beside the detective roll cards facing up. Microscope, magnifying glass, camera, grinding rod, dark cards, wiretap. If player A uses a wiretap to player B, A can draw a random clue card from the hands of B. It's just like B is tapped by A. Burglar. If player A uses a burglar to player B, A can choose to draw a random useful card from the hands of B, or choose a tool card from B. Stopper. If player A uses a stopper to player B, B is forbidden to use useful cards in the next round. B's tool cards will also be useless in the next round. Suspect shelter. If player A uses a suspect shelter to player B. That means A offers the suspects a shelter when B was searching for clue, so B is forbidden to draw clue cards in the next round. Detective God: If player A is facing a dark card used by other players, A can use Detective God to make the dark card useless. Dark Mirror: If player A is facing a dark card used by player B, A can use Dark Mirror to reflect the damage to another player C. Or if player C is facing a dark card used by player B, A can use dark mirror to help player C and to reflect the damage to another player D. Change the role. If player A uses a change the role to player B, B has to change the role with A. Integration. If player A uses integration, every player can draw a clue card from the deck. Order. Clockwise from player A. Police interference. If player A uses a police interference, every player except player A loses the latest tool card. Difficult event cards escape just in time. Roll your dice, save your life. Chaotic journey in labyrinth. Forcing in the hell. Darkness and brightness. Special card encountered by the murderer. If player A uses the special card, A should draw a number card. Number from zero to five means A is beaten by the murderer, so A chooses two cards to give up. Or if A chooses a number from six to nine, means A sees the murderer. 
So A replaced the special card by the special clue card, fingerprint, which is placed outside the deck previously. This clue card can be regarded as a right clue that belongs to every suspect. Number cards. There are 20 number cards. 10 cards of 0 to 9 as 10 digits, and 10 cards of 0 to 9 as 1 digit. Game. Set up. Check the suspects. Put all of the 6 suspect cards on the table where every player can see clearly. Put all of the clue cards in a draw pile and all of the useful cards in the other draw pile. Put a special clue card on the corner of the table. Draw a detective roll card. Draw the startup cards. Draw two clue cards and two useful cards. Gameplay. The game is played in turns and in clockwise order. The one who looks the most like a detective begins. Each player's turn is divided into three phases. Phase 1. Draw cards. Draw one clue card and two useful cards. Phase 2. Play cards. You can play any number of dark cards, difficult event cards, and special card. Check every suspect and the secondary clue cards in hand carefully. Think about which tool card is or will be useful and then equip with the tool card. Put them beside detective roll cards facing up. You cannot be equipped with the same tool cards. Tool cards are effective immediately when put on the table. Two same useful cards can be replaced by a new clue card. Any used card should be put into the discarded card pile. Phase 3. Discard extra cards. Once the phase 2 is over, then you must discard until there are two clue cards and two useful cards in your hand. Then it is the next player's turn. You can choose to discard clue cards at any time in your round, but you can only discard useful cards in phase 3. When your clue cards are deprived by other players, you should draw the same amount of clue cards from the deck immediately. Determining the winner If you draw a new clue card from the deck and find that this clue card together with the two clue cards that are already in your hand belongs to the same suspect, then you win. That means you prove the suspect was the murderer. There must be only up to one secondary clue card in hand when you win the game.